Routine wellness visits are important for several reasons. Not only are they a way to help keep you healthy, but they're also a way to catch some problems early on. Most of us visit our primary care doctor once a year, our dentist twice a year, and get our vision tested at least every two years. But do you know when to get a hearing test? Hearing loss might cause you to miss out on more than you realize. When you can't hear or respond to sound, or when you don't understand the conversation, you can't participate in the world around you. About 37 million Americans have hearing loss, and although 95% of them could be helped by a hearing aid, less than 30% use a hearing aid. The hearing aid and audiology specialists at Lake Ear, Nose, Throat and Facial Plastic Surgery have helped many of their patients take back their lives by helping them to hear better. They explain when you should consider getting your hearing checked. We recommend people come in every two years for a hearing test unless they say that there's a problem in between because then it could be a medical problem so they should go ahead and come in. Sometimes, a lot of times, it's a family member that sends the patient in, but if the patient's, you know, honest with themselves, they'll notice that when they're in a group setting they start to not include themselves in the conversations because they're not quite hearing everything and they don't want to be embarrassed by answering incorrectly. So they just kind of withdraw from the conversation. We always tell people, just stop and look at your surroundings. How often am I at having to ask people to repeat themselves? Or how often am I not hearing it so I don't answer? Those are kind of the signs that maybe you need to start getting a hearing test so we can see where you're at. A hearing test consists of three components. There's air conduction, which is through headphones or, or insert headphones. Speech testing, where we have them repeat words back to us. And bone conduction, which actually stimulates the hearing nerve. So all three of those components are required by law so that we can tell what type of hearing loss you have. What we're finding is that younger people now need to come in for baseline hearing tests because we live in such a noisier environment that maybe our parents did. The music, their jobs, there's just a lot more noise involved. It used to be, you know, 60, 65, but if you're 50, 55 and you feel like you're starting to struggle, you should come in and let us test you so we can have a comparison. So if you feel like it's changed, we know what type of change there's been. For more information on the hearing aid and audiology services available at Lake Ear, Nose, Throat and Facial Plastic Surgery, please click on the Hearing Solutions story link on our homepage at yourhometownhealth.com.